The United Auto Workers said their members at General Motors facilities would launch a nationwide strike midnight after contract talks reached an impasse. Union Vice President Terry Ditz announced the pending work stoppage on Sunday. What we're asking of General Motors is simple and fair. We are standing up for fair wages. We are standing up for affordable, quality health care. We are standing up for our share of the profits. In a tweet Sunday, GM defended its offer to the UAW, saying they should come together and secure their shared future. A broad strike by the union's roughly 48,000 members would be the first such action at GM in 12 years. It would challenge both the union and GM chief executive Mary Barra at a time when the U.S. auto industry is facing a slowdown in sales and rising costs for launching electric vehicles and curbing emissions. It would also test the union, which has been building up reserves in preparation for a possible industrial action. Strike pay provided by the UAW is just $250 per week. That is far below workers' normal wages. This is our last resort. It represents great sacrifice and great courage on the part of our members and all of us. GM's workers last went out on a brief two-day strike in 2007 during contract talks. A more painful strike occurred in Flint, Michigan in 1998, lasting 54 days and costing the number one U.S. automaker more than $2 billion.